All right, what is up, guys? Hello, uh, crazy thing. I don't need to talk to you anymore. All right, what up, guys? I am Kai from Creative Avenue, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use HitFilm 3 Express. Now, HitFilm 3 Express uh, is the um, primary um, film editing program that I use to edit uh, all the videos now that you see on the channel. I think everything since the first highlights video um, has been edited with HitFilm 3 Express, primarily because I find it very convenient once um, you figure out how to use it. The thing is, though, like when you first look at this uh, setup, you have like all this, and you're like, okay, well, I'll just create a new one. And you're like, oh my goodness, project settings, what the heck does all this mean and stuff? And so what this tutorial is here is today um, is my understanding of how HitFilm works. I'm going to give you guys a basic tutorial on how to use HitFilm 3 Express. Um, so uh, here, you, when you saw me, I clicked a new video, uh, and so it'll pop up with this window. It's like, okay, so uh, what do you want the aspect ratio and stuff of your um, video to be? So that like when you export it, um, it'll export in what you got. You guys would understand like uh, on YouTube. You know, you go to settings and you change from uh, like 1080 to 720 to uh, 40 to 360, 144, you know, uh, like the different kind of ratios. And that's what this is here. That's what this bit is telling you all about is like, um, the, it's telling you about the height of the, uh, of the video, like in pixels. And so the width is also 1920, 1920 by 1080 is normally known as very high definition. You can also go up here and um, change that to uh, 720 pixels or even like just something. Well, I don't think they have anything else. You can like customize it as well to go to other ones. But for now, uh, because the film that I have uh, records in this format, um, 1080 full HD at NTSC 29.97 frames per second. Um, yeah, so frame rate is like how many frames per second that your video will record at. I think the highest that this offers you is 30. Um, standard movies like go with 24, though it's been more of a recent kind of thing to go with um, more frames per second in movies. Uh, and that's totally fine. I mean, it's it's just something different. It's just a different look, you know. Um, aspect ratio, you normally do want to go with square pixels. Otherwise, it's going to end up looking a little weird. Uh, audio sample rate and rendering and uh, rendering you'll want to just leave those alone or at least from what I understand uh, because it could mess up like how your audio sounds or um, like how the video edits out so we're gonna go ahead and click this start editing thing back in here oh, settings have modified you want to save your changes no we'll just because it was originally with the this one and so it's just like oh my goodness you did something all right so now you're introduced to this lovely um incredibly intimidating display um or down here you have your main editor up here is the window of like the thing that you're currently editing in the editor and over here you have all these different tabs um what we're going to worry about right now though is this one here on the right called the uh, media tab and so we go ahead and click import up here and so what it'll do is like it'll um, open us up to like the last uh, thing we were working on so we're gonna go ahead and actually get um, let's see we're gonna get something for the from the traveler here we'll have the traveler and we'll just get this like the opening the because this is probably a good one to work with we'll just get like this opening um, part from the traveler sketch so you saw I went import um, I clicked on the one I wanted to select and then I hit open to uh, open it up in this media pane now how do you get this from the media pane to the editor well I'm glad you asked because I don't know <laughs> no I'm glad you asked and so we're gonna <laughs> go ahead and drag that into the editor so you saw that right you just click up here click and drag into the editor pretty simple um, and uh, you, because because when we first zoom out it's kind of small here so um, you can use this button down here you can like click to make it bigger click back to make it smaller or you can hit control and scroll up on your uh, mouse wheel uh, to also zoom in and out kind of easily and also if you need to be like more fine-tune it you can also just drag the slider uh, to whatever distance you want so I think I'm gonna go like or like that it gives us a nice view of the video now um, let's let's show you how this video originally looks Okay, so you hear, you already hear me right in the beginning there. I say rolling camera and then action. Well, that is obviously uh, something we don't want in there. So here we come to our uh, first use of these tools over here. Uh, now, uh, for this uh, little tutorial, I'm just going to be using the top three because they're the most 
uh, basic and they're the ones that I use most often as well. Uh, so what we do, like you can drag this thing here, the trimmer, um, along your film and it'll like go to different bits on the on the film. So if you like fine tune it, so you can see here, uh, there's like a little waveform right here, like right here in the bottom left corner of our file, right? And we can assume, or like it will it will be like this, like our voice, like my voice ends right when, where that big waveform is. And so what I want to do is cut that off. And so there's these three tools here. You have your regular select, you have your hand, which helps you pan along. Um, and then you also have your slicer tool. So go ahead and click on the slicer tool or press C on your keyboard for quick access. Click, you see when I hover over the, uh, over a film or audio bit and the trimmer, it lights up automatically with the trimmer. Now if I were to click anywhere else, it just automatically cuts it for me. I'm gonna undo those two. All right, so we're gonna, we're just gonna hover over this, click. All right, so now I'm gonna select this one. Oh wait, I still have the slicer selected. I wanna go back to my regular select tool. So you just go back here and click it, or you can use V um, as a quick switch between uh, the slicer and the uh, and the mouse tool here, the select tool. So then you, what you do, uh, to get rid of this clip because this clip you know has my voice in it of like me saying and ready in action right and so what you want to do is delete that so you select your film and click delete oh wait but now we have this massive gap at the beginning where there's nothing going on so how do we fix that so we'll go ahead and uh, press Control z here um so what w we want that to like delete and then uh if we drag it like we'll have itself drag itself back right so that we don't have that massive space now like of course we're only working with one film right now so like dragging that back wouldn't be too problemsome but like or troublesome problemsome but like if you were editing uh, this film amongst other like little clips you know and then you deleted that and then you had to drag every single one after it back it would get kind of tedious and so what we're going to do instead is click on this right click it and select the option that says ripple delete object. And so that means that when we click this, it will delete it and the empty space between where the where the little clip was and this thing. Now, you might accidentally hit delete, right? And you're like, oh no, I have all these other films. But don't worry, actually, um, hit film is pretty uh, forgiving when it comes to that. So you see, I just deleted the, the film, right? So what we're gonna do now is right click in this empty space and click ripple delete gap. So hit deletes that gap and pulls the video back along to the front. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this uh, little clip here. All right, so then you also heard me at the end there say, okay, cut, and we can assume that that starts right where the waveform gets a little bit bigger on this film. And so we just do what we did before. We uh, click C, uh, hover over the... the uh, little ticker here and then V select right click and we don't have to ripple delete now if you had other film uh, bits after this one you would hit ripple delete so as to pull all those films with it but for now we only need we only need to click delete so we're gonna do that so now you have this nice shot of the suitcase wheel which we used in the opening segment of the traveler right now, if you guys remember the Traveler, um, we also had um, an effect where we uh, made it fade in. And so what we're going to do then, uh, just to kind of wrap up this last little bit of editing, we're going to go over here into this scary little section, click on the effects tab, and we can scroll down and find it, but oh yeah, it'll be in transitions video. But if you don't want to like uh, go here, transitions video, and then fade to color, you can also Go up here, search in effects, and just type fade, and it will be uh, transitions, video, fade, color. We're going to zoom in just a little bit more, just so we can get a closer, uh, more of a grasp of what we're uh, working with here. Go a little bit out. There we go. And we're going to click this, and then click and drag onto the front bit of our video. And so, there you have the fade in for the, this clip. And then we want to do the same on the end of this clip here. So we're going to do the same thing, fade to color, just drag it onto the end. So now when we watch the whole clip, it has a nice little fade in and a nice little fade out. Now you'll notice too though, like, oh, but my uh, my, my audio is still kind of staying the same. So 
uh, audio. You can also like to make it fade out with the video appropriately. Uh, you drag. You also do what we did, except instead of dragging onto this blue section, you drag onto the green section, which the green section always denotes a audio track. So we're just going to go ahead and put fades on either side of this clip. And there you go. So now we have that nice little fade. Now there are two more things um, that like we can mess with here. It's not entire, in, uh, entirely necessary to uh, this video. But um, this you'll see that like also through the middle of your audio and your video, you have these two lines. And you're like, well, what do these lines do? Well, with audio, you drag that up, gets louder, drag it down, gets quieter. I'm just going to undo that just to keep it at normal volume. And also the same with uh, this one makes the video. So, yeah, this um, ultimately decides, like, I th yeah, the opacity. Excuse me. Not I think. Um, I know it does. <laughs> so just to kind of, like, prove that point, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Grab. Just, to, just grab the outro here uh, for our Creative Avenue videos. And drag that on top. Um, and I'm going to mute this just so it's not so loud. Oh, wait. Excuse me a second. There we go. So you see, we can see that through because we uh, changed the opacity of the video layer. And, um, yeah, I think that's about all uh, that we really need to know about the basics of HitFilm. So, uh yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome, and I will see you on the flip side. Oh, afraid we're going to be best friends. <laughs>